I have been sharing a lot about my life on my social media platform. And one of the things that I've been sharing a lot lately is my mental health journey. If you've been following me for quite a while now, you would know that I have been diagnosed with a bipolar disorder type 2 or a bipolar 2 disorder, same thing. Some of you guys might be asking, what is a bipolar disorder? And some of you guys might be saying, I know bipolar disorder, it's when people get moody and they call it an illness when really they're all just moody. You know what? For me, that is acceptable because that was my first impression about this illness. After being diagnosed with it, I decided to learn more about this, either it's through videos on YouTube or even movies about bipolar disorder or read as many things as possible about it um, and do more research about it. And as I learn more about this, I understand that bipolar disorder isn't just being moody. It's more than that. It's a brain disorder which means there are things in your brain that do not function the way they should be functioning right now. Today, I won't be explaining the biologically things that happen in your brain when you have a bipolar disorder, but I will share to you what life with bipolar disorder looks like, which basically is my life. But before that, I want to read to you what bipolar disorder is. Bipolar disorder is a condition that features extreme shifts in mood and fluctuations in energy and activity levels that can affect daily lives. Or basically, there is an extreme or abnormal shift in your mood, your energy level, and also your ability in doing daily activities in life. So for me personally, I have experienced this for quite a while now. Um, I have been diagnosed with it for about seven months now, but I've actually had the symptoms since I was probably in grade seven or eight. And my parents have seen the symptoms since I was very young, but we just never know what to call it. And as I said before, my first impression about this disorder was really just me being moody like a teenager and just, you know, just being a, a a teenager who is moody and that was what my parents thought that was what my family thought and then after taking medications and after taking a couple tests for months uh, my doctor finally came up with this diagnosis that basically tells me that I have a bipolar disorder type 2 so again I researched about it more and then I learned the symptoms but before I tell you the symptoms I basically want to explain how bipolar disorder looks like it's kind of the same with what it's called, bipolar, which means you have two polar. You have the manic polar and you have the depressive polar. So basically you have a manic episode or a hypomanic episode and or you can have a depressive or major depressive episode. And I will tell you the symptoms of these two major episodes. But before that, I want you to know that bipolar disorder, again, isn't just being moody. It is more extreme. Because if you think about someone who's being moody, they could be in a good mood for an hour, and then the next hour they could be in a very bad mood. And that's what a moody person is. But with bipolar disorder, your episode could last for at least a week, or maybe months, or even years. For me personally, the longest I've gone through is months. I could go for a month being depressed, or I could go for a month being super happy, having the best mood, and having so much energy. Or the episode could last for a week, or even two weeks. Now, I want to read to you the symptoms of the two major episodes. I'm going to start with the mania or the hypomania episodes, which basically refers to the high mood. The symptoms are impaired judgment, a sense of distraction or boredom, thinking I can do anything, belief that nothing is wrong with me, likelihood of engaging in risky behavior, extremely forthcoming or very aggressive, having the sense of being on top of the world, excessive and rapid talking, overconfident, raising thoughts and bizarre ideas. Now, for me personally, Many an episode could look like me texting someone with a long text telling them how much I love them. Or it could also look like posting so much stuff on Instagram with my face on it. 
or even it can look like not wanting to go to sleep or not needing any sleep because there are so many ideas that I have in mind, crazy ideas that I have in mind that I want to do the next day or I want to do that night. So I would stay in bed trying to figure out what I want to do tomorrow or not even trying to figure out. I would have all these ideas and basically I just feel like I want the night to end so that I will be able to do these crazy ideas that I have. If you see me, I'll be posting a lot of things on my Instagram, either it's on my story or my post, on um, my feed or whatever it is, you would know or that I might be in my mania episode. Because during that mania episode, I would usually feel like I am on top of the world, I am the most incredible person on earth, or I could even feel like nothing is wrong with me, as I said before, or I could feel super confident or overconfident. And the other thing that I experienced during my mania episode is that I can't stop moving. And usually I would walk into things. So for example, because I have so much energy, I can't be quiet and I can't slow down. I would be so much more talkative than I would usually be. And for your information, I am a talkative person already. So during my many episodes, usually I could talk so much. I could have lots and lots of of just things to talk about with you, or I could laugh so loud, or even I would walk into things like I said before I would literally crash into things like I would be walking and then suddenly there's just something in front of me and I would either trip over or whatever because I have too much energy now I want to talk about the depressive episode now I will tell you the depressive symptoms a feeling of gloom blackness despair hopelessness extreme sadness feeling worthless, anxiety, guilt, lose in interest with the things that you love the most or the things you love to do, changes in eating patterns, weight loss or gain, extreme tiredness, fatigue, and listlessness, inability to enjoy activities, irritation, difficulty in remembering, underperformance in the things that you do in life either it's work or school or uni or whatever you do now with the depressive episode i would tend to stay in bed a lot some people would get insomnia during their during their depressive episode and some people would have hypersomnia or for me i would sleep just so much I remember there was one time when I was in a depressive episode and I would stay from 10 p.m. to like 4 p.m. and that that happened and that's because I just felt like I didn't have any energy. That's basically how it felt during the depressive episode. And it felt like I was so sad all the time, but not just feeling sad like sad, but it was extreme sad. There's so much guilt that comes. This is usually when emotional pain would come up and then I would be in bed just crying about my life or I would be just feeling like life is work life is not worth of a living and I would feel worthless and I would feel hopeless. That's usually when it is when all these things happen. That's usually when I don't post so much on Instagram or usually when I feel like I am not worthy enough to share the truth about God or about emotional health or about mental health, you know, I just feel worthless with all the things that I do. So that's the depressive episode. Basically being depressed, but again, extremely depressed. Both depressive episode and mania episode is basically extreme. So mania episode refers to extremely high mood and depressive episode refers to extremely low mood or bad mood or sadness. You know, so it's not just being moody, okay? It's really, there's really a lot of things that happen in our body, in our brain, in our mom, in our mind, and in our heart. There's lots of things that happen during these two episodes. So it's not just being moody, it's really having severe mood shifts or changes in your energy levels or even in your ability to do daily life's activities. That's what a life with bipolar disorder looks like. You're not just being moody. Someone who's dealing with a bipolar disorder isn't just being moody, 
but they are having a disorder again it's a brain disorder and there are lots of things that happen in their body as the changes of the episode happens in their life so please do not look down to people with bipolar disorder and stop telling people with bipolar disorder that they are just moody because you have no idea how hard it is to get up from bed during a depressive episode you have no idea how hard it is to go to sleep when you have so much energy during your mania episode so please do not look down to people who have bipolar disorder and please 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 do not be a little this disorder because it's not just being moody it's a brain disorder i hope this will bring an, an understanding about bipolar disorder so maybe some of you guys know people who have the symptoms or you might have the symptoms or whatever it is my hope is just for you to be able to understand more about bipolar disorder so that we can respect and we can love people who have bipolar disorder even more bye